Welcome to Cat School. In this cat training video, you are gonna see all of the steps I use to teach my cat Jones to fetch. We are Julian Jones, and we help you teach your cat fun and practical skills to enrich their life with training. Fetch is one of the most popular training requests. Unfortunately, it's not the easiest skill to teach. In fact, it's one of the more complicated training projects. That's because fetch is not one skill. Fetch is what we call a behavior chain. Think about each of the different skills like links in the chain. For example, picking up the toy, dropping it in your hand, moving forward. Each of these skills needs to be taught independently for the chain to be strong. And if one of these links is weak, the whole skill or the whole behavior falls apart. I use clicker training to teach Jones each of the skills in the training plan. The clicker tells him when he gets it right and earns a reward. Does your cat already pick up toys? Does your cat pick up toys but not bring them back to you? Or does your cat have no interest in toys? Let me know in the comments below at what stage you're at in your fetch training. This is the extent of Jones's toy motivation. He will play with some string toys and chase them a little bit. But if I toss an object, he won't go after it. So we had to start right from the beginning. Picking up a toy is not as hard as you would think though. That's actually one of the easier steps. I use two methods to encourage Jones to pick up a toy. In this method, I take a piece of paper, roll it up and place a treat inside. As soon as Jones tries to take the treat with his mouth, I click and reward. I repeated this a bunch of times. Notice the goal is to feed him the treat from my hand because I want him to learn that he doesn't need to see the treat in the paper in order to get a reward. Now you can see there's no treat in the pa paper and the goal is to continue to get the same behavior. Now you can see that instead of presenting it to him, I'm trying to get him to pick it up from my hand. Nice. <laughs> and now you can see how I got that initial picking up and dropping in my hand behavior. The goal is to repeat this behavior and gradually lower your hand until eventually you can place the paper ball on the floor. Good! Well done! Well done! The other method I use to encourage Jones to pick up toys is using a little treat ball. These little treat balls are great because you can put a treat inside and encourage your cat to take it with their mouth. So I, using this method, I was able to get Jones to grab the, the treat ball and then I quickly faded out That's the treat cool. from the treat ball and continued to feed him a treat from my hand whenever he took the ball. Similarly to the other method, I encouraged Jones to take the, the ball from my hand and then I started to lower it to the ground. Because these objects are associated with food, never leave your cat unattended with them. Always put them away. Once Jones was confident about picking up the paper ball and the orange ball, I transferred the behavior to some other toys. One of the hardest parts of the training plan was encouraging Jones to move forward. He naturally sits when we do a lot of our skills. I use this little blue target to encourage him to move forward. I placed a treat on the target 
and clicked when he moved forward and repeated that step until I no longer needed to place the treat on the lid. He would see the lid, move forward, click, and then give him a treat. Then I reintroduced the ball and I was encouraging him to pick it up and drop it back on the lid. He got a click and reward whenever he did that. I always made sure to reward him on the lid to encourage him to place the ball there. The next step was to place the ball just in front on the ground and then click and reward him for picking it up and putting it on the lid. The next step after that was just to back him up a bit and start to get more steps towards the lid. This is one of my favorite clips because you can really see him thinking through. He notices the target and then he picks up the ball and goes for it. Is this fun or does this ever become fun? Do I always need to use treats? When teaching this skill to Jones, he is in training mode. He's not in play mode. So for us to continue, he will always need treats, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. Jones loves his training games. He often purrs throughout the training and he loves being challenged. So for us, this is a fun game. Click subscribe so your cat gets their homework. I'm sure they will love their training time too.